I talked in the podcast about how I like to make Siri shortcut home screen icons based on context. And I think this is the real power in this application. So I've made a couple here in the lower corners. I've got the legal on the right and Max Barkey on the left. I'll just show you how those work. If I tap on the icon, it goes over to Siri shortcuts and it gives me a list of things I'm currently working on. Like I can go into the inbox in my email just for Max Barkey. Um, some of these are OmniFocus perspectives, like planning is the planning perspective in OmniFocus, but it does more. I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, the MPU show prep goes into a Google Doc as the MPU uh, show schedule goes into a Google spreadsheet. And just there's a whole bunch of stuff here. The blog one goes over to my blogging application. Uh, KM Outline is the outline I'm working on for my keyboard maestro um, field guide, which will come out in January. And my note is where I just do a lot of work um, for different things. So I thought I would uh, always have that available to me. Anyway, so uh, you can open it by tapping on the home screen and getting there. Um, I will show you those in just a minute. Another way you could activate this is you could go over to the widget screen. And if you've got these enabled, uh, you can see I've got it right here for Max Sparky. The nice thing about that is it just jumps to it. You don't see the, um, the moving around, the Safari hit, the Siri shortcuts hit. It, it looks more integrated that way, but it's also not on your home screen. So you have to make your own choice there. Anyway, uh, to see how these run, I'm just gonna hit cancel. And you can see the whole thing starts with a choose from a menu. And each item is a separate menu item. And then if I just start scrolling down, um, they're pretty easy. Like uh, TikTok is an app I'm beta testing. It sets a timer for the inbox. Then it goes into the mail application to the inbox for Max Sparky. Uh, later is a different mailbox I have for Max Sparky. Um, action is a perspective in OmniFocus. Once again, it sets a timer and goes to that. Uh, I do the same thing for some of the other OmniFocus stuff. Uh, post idea is an interesting one. If I have an idea for a new post for Max Sparky, it fills out the inbox item in OmniFocus. Like it's going to go into the MS blog posts project. These, the contexts are going to be these tags. Um, and then I even write the words that write post about in the first line. So all I have to do is type in the subject of the post and it gets added to OmniFocus at exactly the right place. By clicking on this edit in OmniFocus, it actually opens the entry in OmniFocus because maybe I want to add an additional tag or do something else at the time I create it. Um, MPU show prep, like I said, goes to a Google Doc. Um, MPU planning goes to a Google spreadsheet. Um, for automator show prep, uh, we do it in Quip. So I have it jump to the Quip application. Um, and then for free agents, we do it in Apple Notes. So I'm trying different applications out for planning these shows, but it goes to wherever I need it to go. Uh, blog is uh, going to set a, um, a um, writing timer and then it's going to go into the blog application for Squarespace. And then you can see I have it opening a specific Omni Outliner outline for the keyboard maestro screencast and MindNote just takes me to the MindNote app. Um, this is always a work in progress. Once you've got this done, um, you're going to go back and make changes. Like once I finish and ship the keyboard maestro um, field guide, then that entry will come off and whatever the next one is will go in its place. And um, I'm really having a good time just being aware of what I do with my device. And if I do anything related to Max Sparky repeatedly, I go ahead and add it to my home screen under that icon and it allows me to get there very quickly. I also like the way I don't get distracted when I work off of that button. It just takes me right to where I get my work done.